Hey Logo Designers, today I'd like to show you some of the improvements we've made to the UI and the UX of Logo Package Express, as well as showing you how you can utilize presets inside of the settings area. So first let's look at the UI. The first thing to notice is that all of the primary action buttons have been moved to the bottom, and the most important action for any particular screen is now colored blue. So I'm going to show you how that plays out throughout the process. First up is that set logo button. But beyond this, what we're doing is we're taking a look at whether or not you have brought in a logo file that was in CMYK document color mode or RGB document color mode. And depending on which color format you've brought in, we will highlight the type of logo you should probably make first for your logo package. So because we brought in a CMYK color document, we are recommending that you make your print logos first, and therefore that button is colored blue. So let's make these print logos. All right, awesome. Now, many times I'm sure you have created your logos only to realize that there was some setting that you wanted to change. So if we go to settings, what we will see now is that in addition to just having the make logo buttons, we are also carrying over that export button from the previous screen. In the old version of Logo Package Express, you would have had to have gone back to the export screen and clicked export print logos. What happened fairly commonly is that people would make lots of updates to the logos that were generated and then go into settings and accidentally click the make button again instead of pressing the export when they were actually ready to export and they would lose all of the changes that they had made. So we've added this third button to the settings screen when you are ready to export. And since we're looking at settings, why don't we check out the new presets inside of Logo Package Express. The areas where you're going to be able to find presets are inside of the naming tab and the scale tab. And they work the same way in both cases. I'm going to show you how you can use the presets inside of the naming tab. So let's say we made some changes to our file and folder names. Let's say that we want this to be capitalized and we want spaces. That's how we prefer to have our file names. And let's say that we made some changes to the file names down below. We want to call a logo the emblem and we'd like to call the logo mark a symbol. Okay. So let's say that we're always going to do this and we'd like to make a preset. Great. Well, we'll come up to the presets at the very top of the tab and press the menu icon. This is immediately going to allow us to enter a name for our preset. Let's name this preset standard export and click save. Now let's say somewhere down the road, you decide that you would actually prefer to have your exports be lowercase and with dashes for the file names. You've made these changes, but you still want to save this as your standard export preset. All you need to do is come back to the menu icon and click update current preset. And now that we've updated the preset, the name is the same. It's just that these changes that we have made to the preset will now be remembered. So for demonstration purposes, I'm going to change this to capitalize. And when I go to the menu option, I can click on reset current preset to get back to the presets default settings. You see that the button has changed from capitalize back to lowercase, which was our original setting. You can save as many presets as you would like. Let's say that I have a new preset where I call the tagline a strap line. And I go to add new preset and I change this to alternate export. I will save that. Now when you click the drop down, you'll have access to the new preset that you just created. Let's say that you start to get a long list of presets and it's becoming a little bit unwieldy and you'd like to manage them. Well, you can do that as well. Come to the menu item, go to manage presets, and you can select whichever presets that you would like to delete. So I'm going to delete this alternate export that we just created. And now when we go back to the dropdown, there's only one option available. So this is how you work with presets inside of Logo Package Express. Thanks.